Get business commentary on Web3 news related to NFTs, crypto, metaverse, and more. The show is streaming to you from Dubai, the global crypto capital. Welcome, I'm Ayman Aitani, your host and guide to the exciting new world of Web3. Today, we're heavily influenced by the Dubai Metaverse Assembly, where the leaders and practitioners of Web3 meet to set the global agenda. How would you explain the metaverse to your mom in one sentence? Imagine you being able to meet your idol, whether it was 100 years ago or yourself 100 years from now. All these experiences are possible. Your imagination is the limit. I mean, you live in the physical world, but there is another world which is digital, where you can find your office, your kids, you can visit malls, do shopping and work there. So the concept of a digital world was not something new, you know? But now it kind of became a cooler word when people started calling it a metaverse. Well, it's like, uh, imagine going to the post office or like any, let's say, government authority, but you don't have to leave your home. It is the future of internet. Instead of writing, you will feel, you will see, you will have your avatar and you will search whatever you want in a more immersive way. Let us hear from Dr. El Zarauni, who is an international advisor on all things blockchain. So can you tell us more about the, the strong positioning of Dubai? We are actually bringing what we call the triple helix into the picture. We're bringing people from academia, we're bringing people from the government, as well as uh, people from the industry to come and talk about how we're going to build it, how to align objectives, how to align strategies actually from the government side with the actual builders of the space. We are not here to dictate the rules. We are not here to create the governance model that everybody has to abide by. We are here to listen to the industry. We are here to listen to what people expect this uh, technology to bring them and also work together in creating that uh, ecosystem that's both welcoming, uh, non-harassment based, uh, catering to different ages, different demographics. Dubai is an international city and we welcome everybody here to work together and create this collision space and create this huge talent pool to cater for uh, you know, technology creation and building creative projects that can cater not only to the UAE economy but to the world economy and lead by example here in Dubai. Meta's own Ziad Trabalsi gives us his insight on what needs to happen for the metaverse to become much more widely adopted. What needs to happen before mass adoption of uh, the metaverse? There is a lot of uh, further investments that need to happen with you know, nanotechnologies, better displays, uh, more pro better processing powers, battery efficiencies, ar artificial intelligence investments, etc. So just about everything from the hardware and the software side um, needs to continue improving in order to bring new experiences and make it more easily, um, more easy and more affordable uh, for people to be brought um, on the metaverse. One of the use cases I'm very excited about and I use a lot is fitness. So there's a lot of various apps where you can be transported in virtual worlds um, and where a lot of people are using it daily to exercise. You can also use it for tourism. So National Geographic has amazing experiences. For example, you can uh, see a lot of sites, uh, visit uh, uh, wildlife and, and cities. I speak with Maha, the queen of business communication, on her opinion on what businesses need to do to venture into Web3. So what do you suggest businesses do today, knowing that the metaverse will take some time to, to, to bear fruit? So whether or not they should have a metaverse strategy depends on what type of business they're in. But I would implore them or suggest that they spend time learning, learning about blockchain technology, learning about the capabilities of metaverse. Metaverse is essentially 3D internet. It takes you into an immersive experience. So think about how could that help you with technology, education? How can that help with medicine? How could that help improve the travel experience? So it depends on your industry, but I would suggest that they spend time learning, paying attention and listening. Because when people didn't, they thought the internet was a fad and they didn't pay attention, they were behind in trying to adopt e-commerce, online strategies. So really take time to pay attention. A shift is here, a shift is coming, and they need to start to learn how it's going to impact your business five and ten years out. We're good. The location where the international and local... Clap. 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 Who is an international leader no, it's international advisor. I'm not okay. <laughs> I keep.